this is a very quick and very angry guide on how to use the VTF plugin for GIMP because it is broken in multiple ways. First of all, you download the GIMP plugin from this website, whichever you want, and uh, you install your files into App Data Roaming GIMP 2.10 or 2.8 plugins. You have a VTF Axie and a VTF Flip from the zip file that go in here. But now the thing is, the add on is broken. It doesn't install all files. So, first you open up GIMP. Like the plugin works, but not quite. I'm just going to open a random VTF file. And then, without even doing anything at all, I'm just gonna export as as a new name just to continue with the thing. Because you can see there is absolutely no text whatsoever here, it's just placeholders. So cool, yeah, I guess save it, right? Now, what you notice that on your local hard drive on C. You suddenly have this folder locale n and lc messages and in the lc messages is the language pack that you actually need for this plugin to work because for some reason it doesn't install this in the proper location what you gotta do is take the lc messages move it into en then move en into locale or local and then move that into the plugin folder so you should have local en lc messages and file ftf.mo and now you can go back open gimp again and then you can save it with actual you know language packs but the problem is Anytime you open it, it just recreates those folders. Every single time you open Blender and do it, it just makes those folders again. So you just have to deal with the fact that the VTF plugin is broken in such a way that it just creates those folders and files every single time. But that's not even the worst. The worst part is, as you can see here, checkerboard means that's transparency. That is the mask. When you import it, the mask, in this specific case, the illuminance mask, is the uh, layer mask. But when you export it, the mask has to be a separate layer. Then why do you merge them when you import them? So next, right click the layer, show layer mask. Right click it again and click on new from visible. Now you have a new layer. We'll just call this mask. Don't get too attached to that layer because when you use it, it gets deleted. Yes, the plugin also does that stupid thing for you. So now we can also click on disable layer mask so you actually can see what it is that you are doing. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just making some random nonsense and multiply it over it. Now, when you go to File, uh, Export as, as VTF, you can see the text is now here. Cool. And then it says, use layers as nothing. Merge visible. Now, you would think that this would merge the layers. It doesn't. Also, I'm just going to show you using the mask. I'm going to save it real quick. You'll see that the mask layer disappears. And oops, just opened Blender. And the uh, material isn't actually merged. Like the color isn't merged. The alpha channel is there. Cool. But the color that I added isn't there. So what you have to do for that is, first of all, you have to get the thing visible again, then new from visible, cool. 
then uh, show layer mask, make this visible. And now you do the same thing again, right click, new from visible. Now we have one layer that merged all of the layers we had manually because the plugin doesn't do that for us. So now you can uh, traffic export as test replace cool and now you can pick the layer again and then save it and now what you have is the actual texture that you want. So to recap, the plugin doesn't actually merge the layers. The plugin deletes the mask layer. The plugin doesn't install the languages. It works. It does save a VTF file for you, but you have to do an extraordinary amount of work to get it to work at all. So yeah, that was my very quick, very unhinged and very angry tutorial on getting the VDF plugin for GIMP to actually do its goddamn job. Bye-bye.